Welcome to Marketing is Broken, where we complain about what's wrong with marketing, like a sales team in the middle of a tough quarter. Let's check out this week's top story. Adobe just bought Marketo for a cool $4.75 billion. The industry-leading marketing automation platform represents a major foothold for Adobe in a space already crowded by Salesforce, IBM, Oracle, and SAP. Marketo pulled in $321 million in revenue in 2017, according to Moody's Investor Service, which puts the valuation at nearly 15 times prior revenue. Not since Uber in 2013 have we seen a company this size get a multiple this big, which means Adobe sees an incredibly bright future in marketing automation. So, is the future of automation as promising as it seems? Well, that just happens to be this week's topic. Marketing automation has been one of the industry's perennial buzzwords for at least the last decade. And yes, the promise is amazing. Computers were literally invented to do the stuff that we find difficult or unpleasant, like math, learning new things, and dealing with people. But while it's tempting to shirk all of our marketing responsibilities, we as an industry have gotten a bit lost as we figure out how to leverage the powers of automation. And we as humanity may end up creating something terrible if we're not careful. Take, for example, automation using voice recognition technologies and smart speakers. While a lot of people will tell you that I'm crazy for discounting the future of voice-based search and commerce, it feels like this is a forced application of automation. Yes, it's exciting to think that everyone will be shopping with Alexa. And if you own one, I apologize for just activating her. Alexa, stop. But the reality is that no one wants to shop this way, and they may not want to for a long, long time or ever. And there's data to suggest that that's what's gonna happen. E-consultancy's Ben Davis recently spotted a report by The Information that claims that only 2% of Amazon Echo owners have used it to make a purchase, and that nine out of 10 of those people didn't make a second purchase. We can't even trust Siri to get text messaging right, and we're supposed to hand her our credit cards? <laughs> Yeah, that's just one example. Here's another, chatbots. Yes, I love the idea of conversational marketing, very seductive, but companies like Drift will absolutely become the internet's version of those phone tree systems we all loved so much in the 90s. We'll just be finding new ways to jam zero on the keypad and yell, operator, operator, main menu. No, I will not press one. Now, you can try and label me as old fashioned, but this is also the guy who walked around rocking Google Glass for the better part of a year. I wanted those things to catch on so badly, but in the end, they just couldn't overcome the cyborg slash Bluetooth debug stigma. Sometimes new technology and automation, it just doesn't do what we hoped it would. So what can you do if you want to avoid automation gimmicks and truly add value to your marketing? Forrester's VP and principal analyst, Ted Chadler says that only 15% of companies are leveraging digital tactics to their fullest extent and says it's time for the rest of us to catch up or be replaced by the digital pure plays. And in order to capitalize on automation, Chadler says, if you're investing in robotic process automation and conversational investments, be hyper aware of the unintended consequences of artificial intelligence. When it comes to voice, for example, how do you provide enough utility to break us of our visually based shopping habits? When it comes to chat, how do you facilitate interactions between real humans instead of replacing them? And when it comes to Google Glass, how do you provide a heads up display without wearing people out by putting a computer between their face and yours? In the end, if the unintended consequences create more problems than good, then maybe it's something that we don't leave to the machines just yet. And that's how you can fix marketing. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Marketing is Broken, brought to you by Brandish Insights, the world's first brand analytics platform. We're like Google Analytics for brands. Catch this weekly show by subscribing to our YouTube channel or by visiting brandishinsights.com to learn more.